What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about how you get the Crucio spell in Hogwarts Legacy. There are several things that lead up to unlocking it and some things you have to do during the quest to unlock it as well. So first of all, let's talk about what you need to do to get the quest in general. First of all, you will need to be level 16, completed the storyline quest beast class, also the Helm of Urtcott, and the Caretaker's Lunar Laminate. Also, you'll have to do the Shadow of the Estate quest with Sebastian. A bit later, you'll get in another quest from Sebastian called Shadow of the Bloodline. And last but not least, you will get uh, the Shadow of the Study quest. Once you do the Shadow of the Study quest, you, Sebastian, and Ominous will all be in this kind of Slytherin, uh, kind of, I guess you would call it almost like a dungeon, you know, an area where you go into a secret door. Once you are inside that door, the first thing you will see is three pillars that you have to light. What you will do is light the two that are on the right and then the one behind you. This will actually open uh, where you need to go. So you'll need to, you will need to use one of the fire spells, uh, you know, kind of to be able to do this. Like I said, just light the first two on the right, then the one behind you. And you want to do it quickly because if you don't, they will burn out fairly fast. And once they burn out, you will have to start over. So just do the first two and then the one behind you. Next, you will get into some rooms where you see a snake on kind of a dial that has some different emblems. Uh, the key to this is rotating the emblems uh, and matching each one top and bottom to open up the next area. If you take too long, the snake will actually bite you and deplete your HP, so keep that in mind. So how do you find these clues? First of all, these clues will be on the gates themselves. So you'll need to use your uh, Lumos uh, to be able to light up the area so you kind of see everything and spot the symbols. The first puzzle you'll see uh, is kind of right as you enter the chamber. The top one's going to be the circle and the bottom will be the snake. So you'll have to match up to the snake on the bottom, the circle on the top. The second puzzle itself you will see kind of as you're following me around here in this video, you will go into a room where the gate is and you'll crawl under that gate However, the clue is in the connecting corridor unlocked by the first puzzle. So you'll kind of have to check that first room. Uh, when you see that, you will see the top, uh, top dial will be the horned helm and the bottom dial will be the Z. So you go into that room and unlock that. In the third puzzle, the altar is a narrow nook past the gate unlocked by the first puzzle. So this clue is in a section unlocked by the second puzzle. You can kind of see here on the screen, where I'm finding all these, the top will be a fish, the bottom will be a triangle. After you solve that puzzle, uh, you'll be able to go into the area with the doorway where Crucio is written on the floor. Here is where you're going to be pre presented with several different dialogue options that you can talk to with Sebastian. You either have the option not to learn the curse at all. If you choose not to learn the curse, you will not be able to go back and ever learn it. This is the only way that you can get the uh, Crucio Curse, and if you decide not to use it or not to get it at this point, you won't be able to get it at any other point in the game. But if you would like to learn the Crucio Curse, all you have to tell Sebastian is, teach me the curse, and I will cast it on you. So if you tell him to teach you the curse, and then you cast it on him, you will actually know this curse and be able to unlock it in your talents. So this is the way you unlock it, the levels you need to be, and everything kind of included with this in general. Like I said, mainly like everything else in game, you're having to do certain quests to lead up to the point to be able to get a quest. Then you'll have to be a certain level requirement as well. So make sure you have all those quests done. Make sure you're level 16. And once you get to this point, you can unlock that Crucio Curse if you choose to. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.